All right, enough of that. But this idea of which categories are best for visual identification is a challenge for uh, doing uh, uh, this labeling. So let's assume for a moment that we're going to have some set of visual categories. A question you might ask is about how many of them are there? It's kind of a weird question to ask, you know, how many types of things are there? But, you know, look, we've got a finite amount of gelatinous stuff between our ears, and there's this question of sort of how many different labels do you deal with? So Irv Biederman, a psychologist, and does work in uh, cognitive vision and, and uh, mental models for doing vision. Back in the, in the 80s, he, he came up with this number of about 10 to 30,000, okay? Now, big range. But it's an interesting idea because it's also related, if you take a look at the number of nouns people know, that is, you could ask, how many nouns do you know? Well, it's not going to be 2 million and it's not going to be 11. At least I hope if you're watching this, it's not 11. Okay? It's in the tens of thousands of range. Okay? So it gives you some idea of sort of the scale of the recognition problem. There are, by the way, other types of categories other than just sort of natural categories. So for example, you think about functional categories. So here's a set of chairs. And yes, you can sit in all these things, although some of them look like they would be kind of stunningly uncomfortable. But they don't really share a visual property. So you can imagine that semantically in your head you know that they have a certain relationship. But from a recognition perspective, it's not clear that the same process that recognizes this as a chair should also recognize that as a chair. Uh, another type of category which is valid but not perceptually relevant might be these sort of ad hoc categories of things you find in an office environment. That's a perfectly natural category. In fact, it's even a category which you can think about probabilistic reasoning as biasing things, right? If I tell you you're in an office, you're much more likely to find a stapler, right, than to find a horse whip. So maybe that would bias your recognition. But the notion of it being a single visual category, as you can see from these objects, doesn't make a lot of sense.